I don't always use Benjamin Moore wall paint, but when I do, I use Regal Select Eggshell. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting. We are professional painters here to help you with your various painting endeavors. In this video, I will be reviewing yet another wall paint, and this happens to be my favorite wall paint from Benjamin Moore, and that is Regal Select in the Eggshell Finish. So let's talk about it. We primarily do interior residential painting. If we aren't using Sherwin-Williams, then we're using Benjamin Moore. Those are the top two paint brands that we use. Uh, and when we're doing our Benjamin Moore loadout, then the overwhelming amount of time, we are using Regal Select eggshell on the walls. Uh, it's one of my favorite paints that comes in an eggshell finish. I know it's one of my brother's favorite wall paints to use as well. I was just talking to him about it a little bit earlier today, uh, but uh, so yeah, this is a latex-based uh, wall paint. It's made for your interior walls of your house. So that would be uh, bedrooms, family room, dining room, common area, foyer walls, all that good stuff. Uh, the only place that I wouldn't recommend putting this on would be a uh, a bathroom that has a shower or a um, like bath in it. Anything's going to produce a lot of steam. That's not what this is intended for. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So uh, I'm gonna review it on my five categories that I put uh, all of my kind of paint reviews through. And I've kind of been modifying these categories as I've been reviewing more paints. I'm really trying to uh, review these products so that they're useful for you folks, um, which I assume you're gonna be doing some painting. Uh, it seems like a lot of you folks within the comments are DIYers, homeowners, people that have to do painting for themselves. We have a few uh, smatterings of professional painters in there as well, uh, but I really want these reviews to be useful for you. Uh, so I know a lot about this paint. I've used it a bunch. Um, I usually the products that I review, I have used pretty extensively. So with these, with these categories, I'm, I'm again trying to be useful, but if I'm not covering something that you all think is important and it's important to you, uh, let me know and I will adjust as I make uh, more, more review materials, particularly when I'm reviewing uh, paints. I know a lot of times we're just looking at this paint can, um, but I just want this to be the most useful for you fine folks at home. Um, and I'm you know, very happy to adjust my categories or come up with a rating system or something like that that maybe would be uh, more useful to you all in the future. All right, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit and I'm gonna talk about cost first. So if you are gonna go buy this gallon of paint, uh, again, I've mentioned this before that Benjamin Moore does not have unified pricing. So only a few of their products are gonna cost you the same amount no matter where you buy it from. Um, but Benjamin Moore stores are not all linked together, so their pricing is going to vary. Uh, it also depends if you have an account with them and you've bought a lot of paint or you buy a little bit of paint. So the range that I've seen for any of the Regal Select products is anywhere from like the high 30s to the mid 60s. So I think I paid somewhere around 60 bucks for this gallon, which is a little high. There's other stores that I can go to that are a little further away from me that I can get this I think like actually much cheaper. So um, just have that under consideration when you are shopping for this. It might be a good idea to like check around. I know Ace Hardware stocks Benjamin Moore paints um, and it just depends on your area. Also when you're watching this in the future and uh, paint prices seem to be on the rise. But uh, right now I would say a good price to pay for this is anywhere between like 40 bucks and 55 bucks a gallon is kind of like a good uh, a price to pay for this. I know that's kind of uh, a wide range, but there you go. Uh, this is Benjamin Moore's kind of premium flagship wall paint. Uh, they do have some tiers that are technically uh, like higher than this or more expensive, but this is kind of the workhorse of most of the painters that I know that use Benjamin Moore, including ourselves. This is the wall paint we're using. It's a good tier of paint. I would say it's comparable to the duration line from Sherwin-Williams. There's a few differences, but uh, overall that's kind of, this is a premium uh, wall paint from, Sher uh, from Benjamin Moore and that it is priced accordingly. And that's pretty standard across the board as far as like, this is about as expensive as other premium uh, wall paints from other manufacturers. So uh, that's kind of what I, when I look at when I'm pricing things out and seeing if it's a you know relatively good deal or not. So category number two is workability. And uh, that's kind of one of my catch all categories for how, it, how the paint is to work with. And uh, I start with cutting in or edging. So that's when you're actually brushing uh, the paint on. 
and uh, I don't find this to be uh, I don't have any issues brushing uh, this paint on. It's a little thicker than some of the other wall paints I'm used to, particularly Duration Matte from Sherwin-Williams. So to me, it cuts in a little bit slower. Um, not noticeably so uh, for, for most people, but I do just because I'm very used to certain products. And then this is one I use somewhat less often. So when I, I use it, I do notice a couple things um, in my own, uh, I guess, process that I need to change a little bit. Uh, one of which is I found that the uh, like if I'm painting something and I work the brush a little bit too quick, uh, this paint, at least for me, tends will fleck off a little bit more than um, some of the Sherwin Williams products that I'm used to. Um, and also, I found that when I go from see I've got it in an edging container like this, and I'm uh, like dipping, and then when I brush it off and then move the brush from whatever edging container to the surface I'm painting. I sometimes will will find that uh, droplets will kind of like whip off or be lost in the transfer between the two, um, but it's just something I found I have to like wipe a little bit more to make sure that the uh, paint stays on the brush. Uh, my brother informed me, because I talked to him about this earlier today, that he doesn't really experience any of that, and he said it's because I'm, uh, like I go pretty fast, so uh, not to sound like toot my own horn here, but I'm the fastest guy on our crew, so um, sometimes that if you're a really, really fast painter, you might notice this slowing down a little bit um, if you're used to like thinner products that you can cut in a little quicker. Um, so again, just because I experience that doesn't mean you will, and uh, if you don't paint as fast as me or you have a different process, you might not experience that. But again, it's super easy to work with. I don't have any issues uh, cutting in and uh, it doesn't like slow me down the way some of the other really thick paints do um, I can still move pretty quick with this, but that is something to uh, be aware of as far as rolling goes I, I don't really have any issues rolling it. Um, it seems to to work fine It's not faster or slower than any of the other kind of premium wall paints that I've used and uh, Yeah, it's just it's nice to work with I, the splatter is I'd say normal um, maybe a little bit more than Duration Matte, because uh, that's kind of what I compare this to the most. All right, moving on, uh, still within workability is the odor. Uh, Benjamin Moore paints tend to smell really good. They add some things to them that make them smell a little bit better. Uh, generally, this smells, to me, it has like a flowery type scent. So, uh, and I'm not the only one that's remarked about that. But yeah, Benjamin Moore paint smells pretty good, and the fumes on this are not bad at all. And then as far as dry time goes, I think it says uh, recoat after one to two hours, which uh, I find to be the case. This dries pretty quickly, and you can definitely get two coats on it a day and three if you need to. Um, again, that also adds to the workability. This is a very pleasant paint to work with overall. Uh, moving on to category number three, which is coverage. Uh, again, this is what I would expect from a premium wall paint. Uh, it covers almost any color within two coats if you're kind of within the same... Uh, like relatively in the same neighborhood of those colors. So uh, again, I'm not expecting miracles. If it's super dark and I'm this is going to be like a really light color, then I would expect to have to do like a primer or, you know, three coats of this and vice versa. If I was going to do a really dark version of this going over a light color, probably going to end up doing, you know, three coats. You might have to do a gray primer underneath just depending on what the color is. Another thing I wanted to talk about as far as coverage goes, on most of the Regal Select products, it says paint and primer in one. Anytime a paint says that, that's not a designated primer, you should have skeptical hippo eyes about it because I, it's not like paints and primers do two different things. So yeah, maybe you are going to get better coverage out of this than a cheaper wall paint, but as far as priming goes, you should still prime things that should be primed even if you're gonna go over top of them with this product. So if you have spackle spots, if you have raw drywall, uh, raw wood, any of that stuff, all that, all those things still need to get primed with an actual appropriate primer, and then you're gonna run your top coats with this. Uh, if you don't do that, and I've seen it happen, if you go straight over spackle spots or straight over raw drywall, you're gonna get what's called flashing, and you're gonna see exactly where those spots are. It's gonna come through uh, the paint, even if you do two coats. I've seen it a fair amount of times, and if you just want to be, if you want to have predictable, replicatable, like quality results, then definitely I would recommend priming what should be primed, and then going over this and just treating 
treating this as just a premium wall paint and not as a paint and primer in one. Uh, it, uh, it's a little, yeah, that's a little irksome, but it's fine. Uh, and then one other thing about uh, this covering, this product particularly does well with dark colors. Uh, sometimes we do accent walls or uh, things like that where just the room is going to have a much darker tone, something with a uh, fairly low LRV. And if we're doing that, then uh, a lot of times you can get away with two coats of this. And if you have to do three, it still looks really nice. If you've ever painted a really dark color over a light surface, it can be a big pain in the butt, um, particularly with certain pigments like reds. Uh, but this does well. So uh, that's uh, top marks for this. It's one of my favorite paints to use if it's a really dark color. Category number four is finish. Uh, this is one that I changed a little bit from finish and sheen to just finish because I am just want to look at how the product actually looks once it's on the walls, fully applied, dry, and all of that, just kind of how it looks, the feel of it, and uh, just certain things like that. So this uh, is one of the best finishing eggshell paints that I've used. Um, it's one of the best examples of an eggshell sheen of uh, any of the wall paints I've used kind of throughout my career. It's probably my brother's favorite eggshell paint uh, too. I was just talking to him about that today. And um, it has what we would consider a classy finish, um, to, to be a little more vague about it. But um, I don't notice uh, any lap marks, which is where the roller overlaps itself. Uh, it's not prone to picture framing, so the roller marks really blend nicely into the cut-in lines. Uh, that's something that I look for all the time, particularly in certain lights. So uh, I, in, in my personal opinion, I think this... Uh, product finishes better than the Duration Matte. I'll probably be comparing those two products together in a future video because I think they're the most comparable even though the Duration Matte is a matte finish and this is an eggshell. It's actually a very shiny matte finish, but we'll get into that later. Um, anyways, super high quality finish here. Uh, it, and again, like what I said before with the coverage, it does really well with dark colors. And that's usually the dark colors is really where you see some of the uh, picture framing and other issues you run into um, where you don't see that as much with some lighter colors. But uh, overall, this is one of the best finishing paints that I've worked with. So top marks in that category. All right. And lastly, in category number five is durability. And uh, that's just kind of talking about once you have this on your walls, how long is it typically going to last? How easily does it mark up? Those types of things. So... Again, that's why we use the eggshell version of this product and not the matte version. The matte version marks up really easily. It's a fairly dull matte, um, which it looks nice, but it marks up very quickly. So the eggshell tends to hold up better. Um, I don't really advise people to scrub paint. Uh, so you want to be like anytime you're going to do an abrasive action to a paint, it's going to... Um, it's going to scuff up the sheen, so that's something to consider no matter what product you use. I don't care what it says on the can. Uh, but this holds up in general really well. We've done it in foyers and hallways and things like that, and it doesn't scuff uh, particularly easily. And you can get a lot of that stuff off just with some water and a paper towel. So, um, yeah, durability is good. Again, it's not. it doesn't have like moisture or mold blocking agents built into it, so I wouldn't use this in a bathroom uh, with you know, a steam producing element. So anything that's going to get a lot of moisture. So that would be like a room that's got a bath in it, a sauna in it, anything like that. I wouldn't use this product. There are other things that would work a little bit better, but for everything else on the inside of your house, this is a perfectly good level of durability for your walls. Um, and I don't think you would be, uh, you know, you're, it's not something you're going to notice as far as uh, once you apply it that you're like man this stuff's marking up like crazy or anything like that So there you go my friends if you're gonna be doing some painting on some interior walls in your home or someone else's And you want to use some Benjamin Moore products then I would highly recommend giving Regal Select Eggshell a go on any of your walls I don't think you'd be disappointed and uh, like I said it is my current favorite Benjamin Moore wall paint and uh, at the at the time of this video so we'll see where things go in the future but right now this is the cats jammers that's going to do it for me if you guys found this video useful in any way shape or form consider hitting that like and subscribe button until next time y'all take it easy work smart and have a good one Bye. Amazing.